It's seven o'clock in the morning. You in Lala the whole night. Yeah, Lala. She is in Lala. And it's four And it's four as you can see. She is in Lala. I mean, it's a bit I've been up. I've been up since half past three, actually. We don't have past three. So I think I'm okay. I'm so lucky. Okay, I'm so lucky. Kologanyogo. Kologanyogo. So lucky. Okay, okay, I'm so lucky. So we're gonna let video. I'm so lucky. I'm good K.O. Msunwake. It's not a crime to say Msunwake. So the K.O. Msunwake. Kologanyogo. All on the timeline. Running up and down. Tweeting this and that. This and that. This and that. This and that. Oh, this guy called me a killer. I never called you a killer. Msunwake. Kologanyogo. Understand? I never called you a killer. Understand? You can take a toilet brush and shove it right up your ass. Take a toilet brush, shove it right up your ass. That's it. And clean yourself up. Take a toilet brush, put it up your ass. We find it to mess us. Who's baited? Kologanyogo. Who's baited? Zipaited. Kologanyogo. K.O. Kologanyogo. Kolo ganyo go ngegu ngenze foko l kolo ganyo go. Tuga ngonyo go ngobu yisha ge agasi luto. Anasden. The ones that are not pushing is because they've been told, they've been warned. Because the the killer is amongst the friends, the uh, the killer, the person who ordered the death is amongst the friends. You understand? So they took this nigga to Durban so that they'd make it look like it was the Tembe family that tried to kill him. Right now, Moses Tembe is using every single resource, every single resource he has to find the killers of his son-in-law. You understand? He, he's not going to do anything. He's not going to do anything. K.O. Nira ends a four call. Four call. Kologa nyogo. I kologa nyogo. Linge napi. Unge nenga alo msabini. That's why. Linge naganja. Unge nenga alo msabini. Nigga didn't have a caesarean section. No, I don't eat, I don't eat breakfast. I don't eat breakfast. I have a big lunch and a wonderful supper. And for supper yesterday, I went to the Artivist in Bromfontein, a spot owned by DJ Bionic and, and Ken Zero. And I had Nyama Choma. I had three of them. One for me, one for my nephew, one for my guest. You just woke up because you are losers. I woke up at four. No, I woke up at three, actually. I was up at three. I made my first phone call today at half past three. My first phone call for the day, I made it at half past three. You understand? You guys are lazy. You are lazy. You are lazy. That's why you'll never have what I have. You never. When you're sleeping, when I'm grinding, I'm working. I'm making sure I'm 10 steps, 100 steps ahead of everybody and anybody. So anyway, KO Kologa Nyogo. Yeah. You're going to spend all this money on lawyers to try and shut me up. You can't shut up. All the videos are out there. The truth is going to come out. And when the truth comes out and people start getting arrested for plotting and planning to kill their own friend or so-called friend, right? When the truth comes out, you're going to make me look like a hero. You're going to make me look like a hero. So keep it up. Trust me. Keep it up. Keep it up. 
you, you can say whatever you want to say about, oh, you're using AKA's death for clout. I mean, I've already got the clout. I'm using my clout to find the killers, to make sure that the killers don't get away with it. That's what I'm doing. I'm using my clout to make sure that the killers don't get away with it. KO is not a celebrity, and I don't box faggots. Understand? KO must box faggots somewhere else. Let's go there with other faggots and box. So, you know, I'm roasting you guys for waking up at 7 Valley because you're lazy. You're lazy. You're lazy. You're lazy. What type of successful person wakes up at 7? You know, at 4 a.m., we're up. We're up. Making sure that by the time the world wakes up, we've taken over already. Understand? When I came back home and I got into bed, I looked at my bed and I was like, damn, who made my bed while I was not here? That's because I ironed it. I ironed it. My bed was so well made. I ironed it. You understand? So they took him, they took him to, to Durban to make it look like, oh no. And they've been paying promoters, paying people to say, hey, hey, he had lots of enemies. That's a, what a stupid plan. What a stupid plan. All I want to know is that if a gun goes off, when are you blocking your ears or are you trying to run? Are you running or are you blocking your ears? Just answer me that one question. When a gun is fired, why are you blocking your ears? Answer me that question. Hmm? Hmm? A gun goes off and when you are you're blocking your ears, you're not running. But they're shooting towards you. So you're not scared of the bullets. When? You're just blocking your ears. You're scared of the sound. The sound is just too loud. You're in shock. That's the shock response is to block your ears. Not to run, not to get onto the floor. Hmm? 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 That's your response. And then after the shooters have run off, that's when you run. You remember, hey, guys, we're supposed to run. The guns have gone off. Let's run. Yo, damn it, okay. Where are we running to? Hey, we're running there. Hmm? No, man. I'm not stupid, man. I'm not stupid. That's the thing. The, the little plan, they, they thought they were going to get away with it. I'm not stupid. I'm watching these niggas. How are you going back to gigging a normal life? We're having birthdays. Oh, my girlfriend has a birthday. Eating in Jelomo, Don Design. Don Design's got like three kids, guys. Don Design's got three kids. I'm a baby mama got Don Design have been complaining about Don Design. For years and years and years. He doesn't do four call for his kids. You go to his timeline, you won't see his kids, him doing nothing. All of a sudden, Don Design is doing a surprise birthday party for his girlfriend. His girlfriend, who's not even famous, she's 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 not anything. She's just Umgan Gamini. That's that's her claim to fame. Like in terms in the public. Not to say that she's a lesser person. No. I've known her for many, many years. I've known Azola even before Don Design knew Azola. But her claim to fame is Umgan Gamini. Hmm? Hmm? Usi Yamluli, the road manager that KO brother, he recommended him, no, work with my brother. My brother doesn't have a job, you know. I don't want him to end up being a cashier at ShopRite. That guy, is, he's got no skills, no fuck all, nothing. His ex-girlfriend is now working at Spotify. She was at MTV in the past. Melanie Trichat. Melanie Trichat will tell you about Usia and how useless of a man that guy is. He's useless, 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 useless in Danyeko. Useless, Useless, useless. His brothers have been carrying him his own life. Agana nenda Eyaki. Agana nenda 
he was staying at his, his bigger brother's house in a Cosmo City. When his brother had a house at Cosmo City and the old tear gas crew was there. Then the tear gas crew moved to a house in Boscreen, right? And then after that, when K.O. said, I know I'm tired of paying rent and having five niggas stay here. The reason why you are tired of paying rent and having five niggas is because your brother was the main guy. He was the guy who was eating the most and doing everything. And then you ended up having to kick Abu Ma'i to the curb as if they weren't contributing every, anything. And you went and got your own place. And it's only Karakara, it's only hit. You want to get your own place. You want to chase niggas away. I'll shut down. I'll shut up. But you want to chase niggas away. Why don't you just chase your brother away and leave the niggas that were working? Oh, I got it on, I've got it from a reliable source. Uzinga is just had his third baby. He's showing off his third baby because he missed his first two babies. He's got baby mama drama with his first two babies. He's never been a, a guy who can take care of his own kids. Now he's pretending as if he's taking care because he's got that one girlfriend that stayed with him throughout all the things, throughout all the and all those things that kept taking him back and then she finally got pregnant hoping that he'll keep her. He's not going to keep her. He's going to keep her for now, but now. Nah. Where does he stay? In his father's house at over 30. You stay at your father's house. Hmm? Sasala no baba. Sasala gwa baba. Ekaya gwa baba. Hmm? I'm, I'm going to accept, you know, just now. Just let me finish. I just want to finish going through all the things that I need to go through. I'm going to accept it or not. Hmm? Zinga smashes. Zinga, the lord of the, lord of the Oksala gwa baba. Lord of the Ubai last born until death. Lord Yogmeli Lifa. Lord Ya Lifa Litlang Pidisa. Well, she's on mute a bit. I'll talk to her in a bit, but I just wanted to finish. But why can't I accept your request? Give the tea. I'll, I'll mute your hand, I'll mute your hand. So at least your followers can also come because when not, you, your lies, they get. Yeah. Le, le Look, don't le worry. Good morning. I just woke, I woke up around three. So I want people to hear what you say. So I won't talk much. Continue. Oh my gosh. Con yeah. Mm -hmm. Just continue. I just want the whole world to hear whatever you're talking about. So, you know, I'm a big fan of yours. You like a brother to me. So I just, yeah, continue. let me not disturb you. Obviously, whatever you're saying makes a lot of sense. So I just want a lot of people to hear you. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say is that these losers that are busy calling me names, that are busy trying to insult me, Bona, they've got multiple baby mamas, they've got kids they're not taking care of, they're acting like they're now responsible and all the stuff. These guys are not responsible. Mm. These guys are not responsible. Both don't design. Don't design. Cannot pretend as if he's an upstanding citizen, as if he's a father or anything. No. Don't design is a loser. He's never even done a bad day. He hasn't even taken his child to spare. You know, you, when you take your child to spare so they can, they can sing for your child and they can bring you that lemon and a ling sparkler. You understand? The ice cream. He has never even taken his child to spare. He's never taken his child to spare. Spare. Understand? He hasn't taken his child to a McDonald's birthday. You know McDonald's when they used to have birthdays at McDonald's. Understand? And all of you would get happy meals and extra toys. He hasn't even taken his child. He's doing a surprise birthday dinner for his girlfriend as Don Design. After he watched his so called friend getting shot, after he watched it with his eyes. He watched it with his eyes. Right now we saw it on CCTV camera and we're still traumatized. We watched it on CCTV camera and we're still traumatized. This man watched it with his own eyes and he's moving on with life. He's 
taking gigs now. When did Don Design have gigs without AKA? He didn't have gigs. He didn't have gigs. Now he's got gigs. By himself. He's gigging one man. And he, ex he expects us to think that that's normal. Hmm? Don Design is gigging one man. You didn't have any gigs. You know, hosts. Have you ever hosted where Don Design was the DJ? <laughs> but Ali won. It's, no. it's not AKA. Ali won. Never. It never happened. It never happens. It never happened. It's never happened. It's not happening. <laughs> it's not happening. AKA did everything to help Don Design. Even gave him songs. You know, gave him uh, releases. I released that song of his. I know. I, I, I'm the one that released that song of his with Penza. So, <laughs> Muzi. That was a song that was supposed to be on Baba Mania that he gave away to Don Design. He shot a video for him, everything. That video where he's got that luminous green Louis Vuitton bag that AKA loved so much. That man bag, that luminous green man bag. He loved it. Hmm? Yeah. You know, what I like about this thing is that I can block fools and remove them from good. If they make stupid comments like, yo, let's go sleep, guys, it's early. Yeah, block them. I, block I them. also always block. And I then just the, block K, them. the KO situation, why are you in KO? Like, your everything is. Why just... is he suing me? Just, you know, why is he suing me? He's saying, I never said he was there. I said his mm. brother was there. And Yena, he's the guy that put in a good word for your, your brother. When I, you know, if you've got a sister, ne, and you say, yo, Nota, please hire my sister. She can be a secretary or something. And then I die. People come and feel me at my business and your secretary was there. The one that's supposed to keep me safe and make sure everything's good. Am I not going to be asking questions for it? You know, is it possible that your, your, your sister that you think could have sold me out? And when it's up to you to say, you, you know what? I don't know mm. whether she could have been involved or involved. But if she was involved it had nothing to do with me you can yeah. deny that and then you are out of it completely so now when you are suing it means that you are being told sue sue this person do this do that oh. you're being told yeah you're being told since when can ko afford to sue why doesn't he sue lady do <laughs> because that one is, is not going to wrap his brother in a in a conspiracy to commit murder charge that's why that's why he must he must he must sue Nota because Nota is saying your brother is involved in a conspiracy to commit murder. The police said it was an assassination. When the police said that, they said this was a planned hit. It wasn't just a random shooting. It was a planned hit. So the police have given us that information. From that point onwards, we are then able to speculate because we've seen CCTV footage and to ask questions of the people who are there. Chicken, what's about something? What's about I, it's all say chicken? That's why they call him chicken. Chicken, they call him chicken. Chicks, let's talk. Why? Why? Rembita, let's talk. He's from Velcom. Kasi ya hao wena ino. Yes, my own boy. The chicks, let's talk. Yeah, let's talk. My own boy. Because only let's talk. I don't know. Chicks, let's talk. No, that's why. He's my own boy. Yeah, the chicks, let's talk. But he's been doing nothing he's been mm. depending on aka but, and he's like okay. oh these guys and said then, aka hold on these guys said aka he's been misbehaving he's oh. cost us you know his behavior is whatever it's cost us business now we're no longer able to gig the way we used to gig now he's on his coming back who was keeping these guys alive when aka wasn't gigging when he was mm. is he spending all his money on lawyers and lawyers oh yeah because he stayed well, I do that for like a year I, after the, the death of that um, the ex-wife. Mm. Yeah. You understand? So who was who was funding their lifestyles in that meantime? Whoever was funding those guys' lifestyles funded their lifestyle so that you could say, okay, at a certain point in time, I'm gonna call you. Now, why did they take Keenan out that weekend? Let me tell you why. <coughs> because the week before, the week before, or the couple of days before he died, he found out that. That case of Anele is, is over. Mm. So, so he found out the information. He said, boys, I'm a free man. The, the, the inquest has been closed. It's over. It, there's no wrongdoing on my part. I'm a free man. Mm. I never said 
KO as HIV. Musa Kaula says <laughs> KO as Musa... HIV. I said, I said, why doesn't KO sue Musa Kaula for saying he has HIV? Oh, oh so it, yeah. It, 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 does he have HIV? Is it true? I, I'm asking a question. I never said that. Mm. Mm. That's what And even if you have HIV and you take your ARVs and you're undetectable, it means you can go and get tested today. A public test doesn't mean you don't have HIV. That's the thing. You can be undetectable. So, breakfast show here, Runa. Hold on. It needs to ask one question. It needs to ask you one question. Why, when AKA is now free, now that they're saying, okay, there's no longer a case, they, they tried. Anela's father did everything to investigate if Keenan could have been involved, like a good father would do. When yeah. I, you know something happens to you, you want your father to, to not believe anything. He wants to be sure, 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 sure. Mm -hmm. So that's that's why that father did not believe. Yeah, he needed to be sure, 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 so that when his children ask him, what happened to our sister? He yeah. didn't say, listen, that man had nothing to do with your sister's passing. He can guarantee yeah. it. Mm -hmm. He used every resource to make sure, 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 sure. So now that he's sure and he knows, and the police have said, listen, we're closing this inquest now, it's over. You, you guys have questioned everything. Your lawyers have questioned everything. It's fine. We're satisfied that there was no wrongdoing on his part. We can close yeah. it now. Then Yena, Dumb as he is, Keenan, he tells the wrong friends, not knowing that they've already been planning to take him out. Oh. So now they've been planning to take him out, thinking that when we take him out, people are going to blame that old man. Mm. That's their plan. Oh, he's got lots of enemies. And the biggest enemy, you understand? Mm. They've been planning that. They've been planning that for a long time. So when they find this information out, they say, damn it, we need to move quicker now. We need to mm -hmm. do it quickly. Let's quickly do it. Let's, let's do it in Durban right now. Whoever planned that plan must have been high on cocaine. It takes cocaine to have that confidence to do that. <laughs> it takes cocaine confidence to do that. I'm telling you, it, that's a cocaine confidence. I'm telling you. Whoever did that must have been high on cocaine. And cocaine, let me tell you what it does. It makes you gain weight. One gram of cocaine has just under 600 calories. One gram of cocaine. It makes you gain weight. It makes you chubby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. So 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 this cocaine confidence, right? If you look at Keenan, he had lost a lot of weight because he'd reduced his using. He, even the week that he died, he was not using anymore. Oh he had reduced. And people are saying, Oh no, why are you saying that he the man admitted himself? He admitted himself. Why was he killed? You only kill people for money. So Moses Tembe is not going to get money from having AKA dead. He's not going to gain money from that. And he will lose money because he's a respectable business person. He cannot be known as someone who kills people. That will affect yeah. his business. It will affect his... He would not make such a stupid mistake. That's a stupid mistake. Mm. That's a stupid mistake. I know, I'm not accusing anybody. I'm not accusing anybody. So non non when I call closer, when I, I don't need you. You need to understand. Now I'm not controlled by cuckoo. I'm a <laughs> different kind of guy. Yeah. Girls offer me cuckoo all the time, trying to control me. I am not. I'm not controlled by cuckoo. I don't chase pussy. I don't chase girls <laughs> or anything. So I will block you. I will block you, snookfish. I will block you. I will, I will not have ocean basket coming here talking block nonsense. Them. Block. Those are the houses. So anyway. Yeah. So, so they, they kill for money. There's no motive. He's already found out from the police that his daughter was not killed by this man. And how are the police connected to him? The police minister is his friend. You understand? He's got every resource. If they wanted to nail Keenan, if they really wanted to nail they could have got him charged with murder. Mm -hmm. And fight for his innocence in court. They could have done that. They've got the power to. They've got the political connections. Yeah. If they can send police to come and arrest me for nonsense yeah, all the time, why couldn't they send police to arrest Kinan for something? Maybe they find him with something. Maybe they find him with, um, in possession of some drugs or something. Why didn't they do that? They had all those resources. Mm -hmm. They have all those resources. So the Chometa, Kinan, all of them, why are they doing tribute concerts now? Because that was their plan. Their plan was, we're going to do tribute concerts, we're going to do festivals, events, all these things, and we're going to be making money. 
lots of money. I get a Ricky Rick's family is making money and he's not here. Lerona will be making money. Yeah. And while he's not here. So sad. So sad. Oh. You understand what I'm saying? Mm, I get you. No, nah, I'm not making an opinion. I'm not making an opinion. Okay, there's a comment here. There's a comment here. Somebody's saying, well, now they bought you. So there's been those things that maybe, I don't know, but I, I know you personally. I know nobody can buy you or whatever, but your confidence, you, other people, um, female version of whatever, whatever, but like the way you, aren't you scared? Okay. There's, <laughs> Like, but, they can't buy me. Paid by other people, maybe to 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 be Imagine speaking out, to be speaking out on things that can get me killed. Mm, mm. I'm so stupid enough that I might take money and then I say things that can get me killed. No, that's what people ask me. I I hmm? know you personally. I know you. I know. So, but I'm just saying that when someone when someone when someone makes such a thing, oh, they bought you, and and they say it in a. In an account that doesn't have a profile, doesn't have oh, whatever, whatever. Oh, yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. So we know that they hired Hitman to kill this man. We know that they hired Hitman to heal this man. Do you understand? Yeah. It's about to be load shedding, that eight, and also, um, I think Instagram Lives gives you one hour. So what I'm saying to you guys is that I'm giving you this information because this information is out there. And even if they can do anything to me, the information is out there. But Cairo will not grow up without a father, without getting justice for her father. Mm -hmm. She will not be picked up by the people that helped her father's demise come about. And then they can pretend that they're crying and that they're sad that she grows up without her father. Mm -hmm. Cairo is growing up without her father. She loves her father. And mm -hmm. her father loved his daughter and he wanted to be there for everything. Do you understand what I'm yeah. saying? I wanted to be uh, there for her metric dance. Yeah. She bought her her first flowers. She took her on her first date. Everything she did first with her father was in one yeah. some man on one day. Yeah. To be the one that shows his daughter nice things. Yeah. You know? That was a very So very Cairo beautiful. is great. Nice. And then Luna, you even abused Zinkle. Ah, abusing Zinkle. Zinkle now has to accept that her daughter is growing up with the father. That's why she's heartbroken. She's heartbroken. Yeah. She's devastated. Yeah. She's devastated. Let her be devastated. Let her be devastated because every single day she has to take her daughter somewhere and knowing that I cannot take my daughter to her daddy. Yeah. I do this for Cairo. I don't care about any of you. I do this for Cairo. I don't care about any of you. So also take a bound. I do this for Cairo. I don't, yeah. do this for, I don't care about any of you. I this is for Cairo. So now the thing is this is that Luna, you think I'm stupid. So the first thing I do is that I, I go to where you guys are leading me. So I say, okay, fine. This, these guys are trying to make it seem as if the 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 the, the, the white <coughs> family did this. Let's follow that trail. Let's follow the evidence that leads down that trail. It leads to a dead end. Why? Because there's no motive. Abana motive. We don't have a motive. There's nothing they can do. Imagine they've got another sister of hers that's on, on SABC3, that's on TV, you know? Yeah. That's on SABC3. She wouldn't want now her family to be abused when she's on TV, when she's on YouTube, people are saying, yeah, you guys killed AKA. They wouldn't want that on their names. They don't want that. So you must believe that their family right now is helping the police with every resource they need to ensure that it's, uh, the whole of South Africa knows they had nothing to do with this. Mm -hmm. they, they, they making sure. They've got the resources to make sure. So those guys that planned this, they're up against something else. Yeah. Hmm? They've got, got no motive. You can say whatever you want about this, the, 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 the Chamber family. Why would they get information from the NPA to say, listen, this, this inquest into your daughter's death is closed. We've taken in everything. We've listened to you. We've taken the evidence that you guys gave us from your private investigators, everything. 
You understand? We yeah. Think in everything. When 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 Annelise's body came back from the toxicology test and everything, I went with Keenan to go view her body. Na Likine and his brother. Mm. And his father was in the car outside. Yeah. We went to go view her body. You understand? Yeah. I was with Keenan to know that this man did not do this. When they say he had scratches on his back, I was with him. He was sleeping on the couch the whole entire time while he was in Cape Town preparing while we were waiting to have her body taken back to Thing Magic. He was sleeping on the couch the entire time. I slept in his bedroom. He slept on the couch for the whole three days. That man slept on the couch yeah. if he was sleeping. He was sleeping in Gadi Tranquilizer. Yeah. Mm. He was sleeping, not sleeping pills, tranquilizers. That's how he's sleeping. Got a tranquilizer, that man. Destroyed because he was having nightmares. He was seeing the image of how he saw her lying on the floor, everything, you know, waking up to cry, all that nonsense. <sighs> but let me tell you <coughs> one thing. When I looked at that man, when he came out of the shower or the bathroom and he cleaned himself up, he didn't have scratches or anything or look like he was in a fight or anything. Now I'm telling you with my own eyes, I saw that. So when that family said that and all those things, I knew that they were just testing because he stayed with the police. That first night, he arrived at 11, we'll see you, 11, after, the, after the, uh, her passing. You must remember that she, that she passed away just before 7, we'll say. Yeah. And from there, after they did everything, they questioned by the police, they were taken in. I think he spent almost or over 12 hours with the police yeah. before he came back that night to that place in Camps Bay where we were staying. Why, why would I speak at the funeral with the friends that arranged that funeral? Why would I go to a funeral that was arranged by the people that killed him? Why would I do that? Why would I go amongst people who are smiling in front of his parents while his parents are destroyed? Yo. Smiling in front of his daughter while his daughter is destroyed. Why would I be in that place? No, I cannot pretend. No, yeah. I cannot pretend. In get get what you see at the same time. I cannot pretend. No. I'm not gonna put myself in a situation where we're on camera right now and then I'm 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 pulling people by the t-shirts. Mm. You understand? Yeah. No, man. It's disgusting. So now they're trying to silence people. They're threatening people. Anybody that questions this narrative that they're trying to paint, they're, they're threatening them, sending threats. You tell people around me, hey, Nota, hey, you, you must watch out. Hey, hey, tell Nota he's in danger. Hey, hey, people are going to come after him. Is it true that not going to try and come after him. Because I see comments and I've heard that. Is it true that you were banned from seeing, from for, from going there or whatever? I, Is it true? I was never banned. I chose not to go there. Mm -hmm. I was never banned. I chose not to go there. But you guys saw that billboard that I put up. And I put up that billboard right where I have my coffee in the morning. And also mm -hmm. right outside where Zinke stays with Cairo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that Cairo could see that billboard. Yeah. 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 Am I not scared? If these people are killing people, why must I be scared? If they try and kill me, then how? What am I going to do to stop them? I cannot duck bullets. I'm not bulletproof. So I must live in fear. No ways. No ways. I'd rather, I'd rather the truth be out there. I'd rather not them come for me saying, hey, this guy will speak one day. He will speak. Let us take him out before he speaks. Let me speak right now. It was the friends, the friends, the ones that are calling themselves the best friends. Trust me. Yeah. Uh, scared this life. Mm. You know, the ones that call themselves best friends, those are the ones. Why? Because they're jealous of your success. They're jealous. Of no, Marawena, like we've been with you the whole entire time. And then how Sina the record deal or Sina Lebo Benza. And we've been trying to get you away from Benza this whole time. We even called him Quer Quer and everything. And then when you want to sign your management deals for them to take your management, you give it to Benza's former assistant, Siamo. Siamo used to work for Benza. Why are you not trusting us? You are your friends. We're here with you through thick and thin, through everything. We've been with you. Ah, you're not putting us on. Mm -hmm. And then they say, Okay, we'll find a way to put ourselves on. Okay, we'll take you out. 
what you, you okay. put us on Gangan. Why are the friends at the memorial service talking about business deals? Oh, we did this business deal. Oh, we sold this much liquor. Oh, we did this. Hmm. Hmm? Yeah. I put up one billboard. I put up one billboard, only one, on William Nickel. I put up one billboard, only one. I, I don't know about any other billboards. The other billboards, Bona, they put up because they saw that your note has outdoing us. They put up smaller Nyana billboards. You've got this guy, Masatsi. He claims to be a partner or his cousin's own Gena Media. Gena Media, when they make billboards, they make billboards for Ricky Rick, real big ones. When Masatsi gets a billboard for AKA, it's a tiny, smaller Nyana one. Tiny, 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 the smallest billboard in the world. The other billboards were put up by who? By Siam Juli's ex girlfriend, Melanie Trichat, at Spotify. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the ex-girlfriend, the one who left that dead beach loser called Siam Juli, the one who left him. And imagine, I'm the one who's saying Siam Juli is the one who's responsible for all of this. Siam Juli don't design. Why is don't design not suing me? Why is Siam not suing me? You can't sue me because then you have to go to court and explain yourself. <sighs> you know? Like, you guys can comment whatever nonsense and whatever. I will block you with pleasure. And I'm not going to stay for your nonsense. Yeah, please block them. I, me, I can't block You guys are not side. going to... You're not going to abuse Pali Tembe. She's on Espresso SABC3. You are abusing her on her timeline, saying her family is responsible for AKA's death. And think that that family deserves that. They don't deserve that. They're not killers. That family are not killers. <coughs> we put pressure on Peggy Tele because we wanted to make sure that he clears his friends by investigating this case properly. Mm -hmm. That's why we put pressure on him. We, we are putting pressure on Peggy Tele because we are tired of these cases becoming cold cases. They've got the cell phone records. Siam Zuliki, the brother wa KO, is the last born workable KO. That's why I've been putting pressure on KO saying, see, KO, take your brother, take him and make him make his statement, his confession, how he was involved, who ordered the hit, who put them up to all of this stuff. And then it's over. But now you guys have taken a month now. It's been a month. We can't forgive you guys. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's been over a month now. We can't, we can't forgive you guys. Uh, yeah. We can't not forgive you guys after a month you try to but keep the, up the story you try but to the killer. Yeah. Yeah. There tell, us who, who, tell, tell us who paid you to do this mm, that's all we want you understand tell us who, and, who and ordered you to do this then, because we saw that you the guys didn't shoot we saw that you guys didn't do it but mm. you're a part of it we know that we know that you're a part of and it it's been a month this, now you know loads of this um this whole aka thing it like, because we are all in the industry. So I also have this trauma. After that happened, I didn't want to take any gigs. I stopped taking gigs because I'm very vocal online. I always speak my truth. And I'm like, shit, this can also happen to me. So yesterday I was hosting in Bryanston Rio Cafe. No, not yesterday, a day before yesterday. I had trauma that gave me a, a, a table just opposite the door. I always said this thing like, oh my gosh, oh shit. I'm always, you know, speaking my truth. What if some something happens to me the same way, aka Abu Laiwe? Like, it's it's really no, touching. No, but when are your friends? When are your friends are not jealous? Because aka was killed by his friends. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. When are you thinking some random person? Those random people that you speak your mind out, those guys are not going to get you killed. No. Because it's oh. out there in the public that you guys are... The people that get you killed are people that no one would suspect. Oh. No one would suspect that a friend will take you out. When I, if, let's say you get into a partnership, Lee, Lee Eva, right? Le Mangrape and another partner. Yeah. If something happens to you, the other partners in that business, now they'll, they'll be able to share your shares in that business. They're not going to give your shares to, the, to, <laughs> to, to, to your family. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why they'll take you out. Oh, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So the the, the 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 evidence of the killers is at the CIPC. If you look at the company registry record and you see which companies was Keenan a shareholder of, and then you tell me these companies have they said anything since he since he what you call since he died? Have they said oh we've lost our business partner? 
these things that he was saying, oh, I've just invested in this, I've just invested in this, I've just, it's all about money. Trust me, people don't kill for love, they kill for money. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? So yeah. the SAPS now is under a lot of pressure because if they don't crack this case, people are going to say, ah, Peggy Tele is the one who, who, who ordered um, that AKA must be, get killed because he said that thing that he said at that speech. Uh, you understand? So it is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. That's why I've got the answers, Sway. That's why it's me in the profile picture with Sway. Because I've got the answers, Sway. Who killed AKA? It was the Ngabis. Hmm? We saw it was the Ngabis that did it. But who sent those Ngabis? Who ordered? Hmm? Who ordered it? Who ordered it? Who, who ordered it? The speech that Begitele gave at Anele's funeral makes this very personal for him so he wants to clear his name and he also wants to look like a hero he's fighting for his own political future with the crime stats looking the way they are he knows this high profile case police always look for high profile cases now they, they even hired the guy that found the post office killer of women that guy is one of the top detectives one of the best detectives south africa has that's why he was able to track down um, um uh, uh, that person that uh, killed Uinen and that followed her out of the post office and followed her and followed her and then took her off to the bushes to go rape and kill her. So, the, who ordered hmm? who ordered the hit? Mina, I'm telling you that let's suspect Nelly's father. Let's suspect him. Let's suspect him. Let's, let's say, for an instance, he's suspecting. The man is on boards of businesses and all this stuff already, 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 already. He's got businesses. He's married to the queen regent. The queen regent is the sister of the king. And when the king dies and is planted, she gets to decide who becomes the next Zulu king. He's got way too much to lose to call Ngabis to take out you know to take out his son-in-law justice for his daughter how because he got justice for his daughter the NPA said that there was no foul play in her death he is the one who confirmed that he's the one who kept prodding the NPA sending them everything he had and then the NPA said no we are satisfied and he lay and now he was satisfied he left it there. After the NPA said what they said, he left it there. What he could have done is that he could have sued AKA after the NPA said that for wrongful death, or he could have um, gone for a private prosecution. Why didn't he do that? Because he knows the truth. AKA had nothing to do with the death of his daughter. Hmm? So you're yeah, being told, now I was called by people. Most of them are wrong for it. Yeah, I let it go. Hey, leave this, leave this, whatever, whatever, whatever. All of this thing. Hmm? Hmm? Ah, yeah, you guys scared to see guys. Which means that they can take you guys out and then everyone must keep quiet and move on. And now I'd rather speak. Now I'd rather speak. If something happens to me, at least I spoke and I spoke my truth. I didn't, I didn't die on my knees. You understand? There's no way we can believe that the Tembe family would risk all their businesses, would risk everything that they have to kill uh, such a big guy, such a famous guy. They've got other ways to punish him. 
Younger Chief is because Younger Chief is the guy that brought Don Design to AKA. AKA would have never known Don Design. I mean, would have never known um, Don Design without Young. He brought Don Design on board as his producer when he was shooting music videos. Now, Younger Chief only shot music videos for AKA because I got him to shoot Questa's Boom Shakalaka video. I even paid for it. Myself, Questa paid, and Kidex paid. Myself, Questa, and Kidex paid for that Boom Shakalaka video. That video, we sat there while he was editing it, when he didn't have a place to stay, when he was renting. He was renting at um, a, 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 what you call a short-term stay hotel um, opposite Lucky Bean in, in Melville. That's where he edited it. This was back in 2012. In October 2012. Okay. You understand? Then he after that Boom Shakalaka video, that's when uh, AKA said, no, okay, no, maybe let's work with, um, let's work with Younger. I'd like him to shoot some videos for me. I like his concepts. Then he shot Control, I think. And Don Design was there as the producer, the line producer of the video, you know. I think getting also some of the styling. Younger Chief shot Ran Josie because of that. All of those things. And he was featured on Ran Josie because he went to studio with Maraza and they made a song called Alumni. Uh -huh. And then after that song, that's when AK said, no man, come here, I need you to get into the thing with it. I wasn't calling all black people kafirs. I was there's calling a, the people that had that killed AKA kafirs. There's a question here. They're asking this thing. Have you met Don Design after all of this? Why would he meet me? Why, why would he want to meet me? He, I mean, I, mean I, I, I don't stop myself. from going. I, why would I need to meet Don Design? Don Design has got my phone number. If he wants to meet, he can come and sit down and have a meeting. Mm -hmm. He knows exactly where to find me. He knows. He used to, he used to squat here. You remember <gasps> There's this other girlfriend of his called Baby. He used to squat at Baby's place here for the He used to squat here. Okay. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. That's the type of person Don Design is. Don Design is a person who squats at his girlfriend's places. He doesn't have his own place. He doesn't have a credit record that can allow him to, to rent a place. He can't leave. Can't get a lease. Not even sure. Don't design. Keep Teddy so. Teddy so. Teddy so. Yeah. I, now, why is. He's from like, where I'm from. But I've never huh? had anything. He's from where I'm from. I've never I had know. anything. I know. Teddy so. Mokoko. I know. Him. He's got a brother. And and he's got a sister. brother is so sweet. And his family is so sweet. He's, uh, the, so the brother beautiful. is. And his sister is so beautiful. He's like, he's like, yeah. So I think, it's London you know, now. Mm, I think she's married. She married well. Yeah, and I kind of the brother is kind of what's his name though? He's so nice, also, Sham. So sweet. His brother also wanted to be a rapper. Yeah, but he's so he's so chilled. He's even more handsome, and yeah, mm, he is. He, he was dating this other girl, and then he, yeah. he's. If, if if I called people kafirs and then when I, you took it personally, I wasn't talking to you. Yes. So why would I be talking about why you? Why do they take you even talk about snake queens or BBLs? I'm your friend. I never take it personally because you're not saying e no. You're not talking to me. Exactly. You're talking exactly. To that you're talking to. Exactly. Yeah, I'm talking about those friends, those so-called friends. They are the ones who are kafirs because they don't believe in God. And a kafir is someone who doesn't believe in God. I explained that they believe in moti. They believe in all of these things, this Illuminati stuff. And they believe in blood sacrifices. That's why they sacrifice their friend. Mm. That's why they sacrifice their friend. So now, I've got family members that go to the same that go to the same sangoma as as Peggy said. <laughs> just just so you know, so that sangoma gets more money from my family than he gets from Peggy Gwen. So that sangoma knows everything that's going on. My family knows everything that's going on. <clears throat> I'm just letting you know, my family know they if they were to ever try something on me, these cowards that killed Kinan, trust me, the way my family is, my family doesn't have social media. That's not a joke. They don't have <clears throat> social media because <clears throat> they don't need social media. Social media is not part of the business that they do. <clears throat>
I'm not someone who comes from Josie now, 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 now. I've been in Josie. My grandmother was here. My grandmother's buried in Soweto. You must understand that for my grandmother to be here, for my uncles to have survived Soweto. Hmm. Yes, there was a serious place. Yeah. At, at my family's businesses, that's where the taxi is in Soweto Park. Mm. We pre protect the taxis in Soweto in my family. <laughs> People we're are not, saying we're not, we're, we're not involved. We're, we're not involved. That, that Sangoma is the one that protects my family business. <laughs> because you're, like you know many, that Sangoma. <laughs> I'm serious. I, I don't need Sangoma. I don't, but my family, you can't afford that Sangoma. For one consultation for that Sangoma, my mother paid that Sangoma for one consultation. People tried to do something to me. It was 45,000 rand. The next consultation was 150,000. Consultation at a, at a Sangoma is how much? That Sangoma? 45. Yo. Mm. So, Gogoma, when he's playing. <laughs> it's not that my family members don't believe in God. In the businesses that we're involved in, the enemies use Sangomas. You need to fight fire with fire. Mm hmm. We believe in God. Yeah. But we also believe that evil is around. To protect yeah. ourselves from the evil that they do, you need to have a, an even bigger evil. Yeah. You can't fight, you can't fight, you can't come to a, a can fight with a knife. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so, so now these guys, the news is around their neck. The phone records have been checked, they've been swept, they can see everything. Your biggest enemies are your friends, the closest ones to you, the ones that watch you eating and saying, but Eno doesn't deserve this. Why is Eno getting all these bookings? Why is Eno like flourishing so much and now I'm prettier than her and I've been with her the whole entire time? It's your friends, it's the ones that are closest to you that are the ones that about about Jelamon. Yeah. If someone takes your boyfriend, it's not the enemy, that girl that you were swearing at. No, the one that's going to take your boyfriend is the one that you feel with the whole time. Mm. Oh. That's how it happens. No, I can't hear. I can't hear. You that's, why I'm, yeah. that's why you're vocal. That's why you speak your shit. Because so that they know that, listen, Don't try if, if, try if, you know, yeah, they must not try me. Yeah. The reason why Lynn and Tony didn't allow Moses Tembe to, 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 to come to the funeral is because of these friends around them. Mm. Mm. It's because of these friends, the friends around them. Oh. And then it was the friends that were telling him it was this family. It was this family. They're planting seeds in the family's head so that they think that, no, these people are the ones that killed our son. The second consultation was 100,000. <laughs> That's when I said, listen, I, this is out of my league. I cannot be spending the, the 200,000 for, for lawyers, the 300,000 for lawyers, and then the 150,000 for Sangoma. I said, no ways. I don't have that much money now. Mm -hmm. I'm also scared of lawyers. I chased, away, I chased away younger chief. Younger chief used to live under my roof. That's not a joke. He used to live under my roof. He never paid the Rent. To this day, he owes me 140,000 rent in rent. But he never pays. Who? Who? Younger. Younger chief. The one that's running around um, pretending he's dating <laughs> Mini. It's the stepfather, son. Is it true that he's dating Mini? Yes, he's a stepfather. He's a, stepfather. He's a professional stepfather. Before that, oh. he was also another stepfather. To another girl. I get it. That girl, what's her name? Tanya. The one that was extorting Tony and Gany for, for, for promising cell phones for a threesome. Oh yeah, yeah. That one that was in the Daily Sun. They took, they took, they took Tony and Gany to the Daily Sun, saying, "Hey, Tony and Gany wanted a threesome with us. We fucked him the whole night, and then he didn't want to buy us iPhones." But, but why did Yanga took that him? thing? Yanga took that thing and the child and became a stepfather. Wow. Taking that child to the doctor, nonsense. Wow. Using my car, borrowing my Viano to go and take this girl, and I had to take back my Viano, saying nonsense. Didn't have a car. Sure. He said. Yo, give me a lift. I need to pick up my son. I said, listen, that's not your son, man. That's hmm. not your son. Net oh, you know Skakas. Netta, how? Come on, that guy lived under my roof. I took care of him like a baby, like a child. Today, he's, he's there to tell me nonsense. Hmm. He's going to tell me nonsense. as if it, I gave him the unsweet bedroom in my apartment.
apartment. I gave him the ensuite bedroom because he's famous, I guess. Right, I'm trying to make <laughs> him look good so that when he yeah. goes visit, they don't, don't see that he's a tenant that doesn't sure. even pay rent. You should be sleeping on the fucking couch or sure. in the street. 140,000 rands worth of rent. He hasn't paid me. He owes me 140,000 rands. Yeah. He owes me 140,000 rands. And what like Patal? 140,000 rands. What like Patal? Why? As I like Patal, like the installment. No, he must be paid <laughs> all in once. I tell you, they, they, they're paying him to keep quiet right now. Was he also involved in AKS debt? He knows who is involved. I tell you, he's Don Design's friend. He knows the truth. So he's being paid to keep quiet, Leon, to, to act as if he can't figure it out. He is there. He's amongst that friendship circle. He can figure it out. He knows what has happened. He mm. knows. He can't sleep right now. He can't even sleep at night. He's having nightmares and whatever. You know, he says he's gifted. His grandfather was a sangoma and everything else. Then he should know. If your grandfather was a sangoma, your grandfather will tell you exactly what happened. Mm. Yeah. Oh. That's why I go for Yanga, because Yanga is going out there. Now he's going to perform on Sunday. They're performing called Tabayaba Tuana. They're performing yeah, with AKA's band. Yanga is, 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 is performing there. He must come wow. here on this live. He must join. I don't, if Don Design can join this live, I'll ask him the same question. If 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 Yanga Chief can join this live, I'm not going to block them from there. They can come here. There's a question that you asked. You were like, if... If first thing that you're gonna do, are you gonna block your ears or are you gonna run or be on the floor? Dude, I'm gonna be on the floor. That was a very smart question that you asked anyone. Like I was like, wow. Because we saw on the CCTV what happened. Why are you blocking your ears, Hulas Tunya? No. It's not balloons. It's not the cricket. It's not hundred shooter. It's Tunya. No, nah, yeah, no. That's the thing. Uh, Musa Kaula takes stories and then he, he chops them up. He's not dating Devin Coco. He was sleeping with Devin Coco's stepmother. Huh? Who? Bridget Mutsip. Yanga owes me 120,000 rand, but he's able to sleep in a suite at the Oyster Box that costs 120,000 rands a night. No, he owes me 140,000 rands, but he was able to sleep in a suite at Oyster Box, Komsanga, that costs 120,000 rand a night. How? Hmm. He was performing for Bridget Mutsipe's family Christmas party at the Oyster Box. And sure. Anele Tembe was there, the Tembe family was there. All of them, all of the the rich kids were there. Devin Gogo was not even there because she's mm. not in with that family like that. That's her evil stepmother. Yo, you understand what I'm saying? Yes. So that's why they said no. He's busy with Devin Gogo. No, who busy with a Gogo from Devin? Yes, Gogo was the Mutipe Gogo. U Gogo. You don't need to believe me. Yeah, yeah. Now he told me with his own mouth. That no, he was chatting to her the whole night in his hotel room. He didn't say that they slept together, but he said they chatted the whole night. And I'm thinking to myself, you 